So I went to the gym, went to the mall walk around, and I also did some returns for your secret bras that did not fit me. So I actually got the right size today. So yeah, I'm happy. And I also bought some Crocs um, for me and my dad. And I bought some Wetzel's pretzels, jalapeno and cheese goes hard so today is my day off and i'm actually gonna go to the nespresso boutique i want to buy some new pods so the new pod that i'm actually trying to taste and i heard a lot of good reviews especially of the girl that i follow on instagram and i see her videos every single time like she uploads and she really recommended it so i need to try that out i forgot her name but i will leave it on the description down below if you guys want to check out her her little recipes because they are so good pods that i'm actually going to be buying is the coconut flavor over ice they do have it for the virtual machine so i'm super excited i told my husband all about it and he's all like yeah i want to try that out too so yeah we're gonna be driving over there and i do want to mention another thing i bought this little suction cup to like vlog while i'm driving but like it won't hold <laughs> into my window shield and uh, yeah it's like too small i don't know how it is but i don't know how to describe it but it just doesn't freaking fit like my camera doesn't fit with the, th with the windshield so i'm kind of bummed out and i'll see if i can make it work car mount that i'm currently using right now i bought it off of amazon and i truly don't know if it's gonna work or not so it's my first time Bruh, that was a fail. That was a complete fail on the first turn. It flipped. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. tell you about my day so i went to the mall because i bought some crocs for my dad like i mentioned i think a few days ago but it's gonna be within this video so it's gonna seem like if it was just yesterday or in the morning but it isn't so i went back to the mall because the crocs that i bought for my dad did not fit him i got him a size nine in men and he is pretty short so his feet are kind of small kind of they are so he ha i had to like size down to number eight and today was the day that I had to go to the mall, you know, and exchange them, and I did. So then I called my husband, and I was like, hey, you want some Crocs? He's like, yeah, just get them in teal, size 10. I'm like, okay, fine. So, so I was at the gym store today, and I was like, um, I'm going to be doing an exchange, getting a smaller size for the black ones that I currently have right now. I needed a size 8, and I need to get Crocs in the color teal, size 10 for men. And then they went in the back, checked. Nothing was available other than rainbow and was uh, the army one army or camouflaged uh, color i'm like no i don't think he's gonna like that so do you have any idea where else can i go get some crocs and then they gave me like five different stores within the mall and like no lie i went to each and all of them and no one had the size that i was looking for and the color that i was looking for so i was like okay fine if you don't have them in teal do you have them in, t in black and nobody had it in black so i like legit was all over the place today and I was sweating and I was dying because I needed water to drink because I was like speed walking, you know? Speed walking through the mall. I'm just like going into stores. I went to Tilly's. I went to Dee Dee's something something. Foot Locker and all the places you can think of that are in the mall that would sell Crocs. And no one had them. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed out. I even call that DSW store that's not located in the mall. It's like in a different location. And yeah, they didn't have them. They're all like, uh, we're running low on Crocs. And I'm just like, okay, fine, whatever. So yeah, I think I'm going to be ordering them tonight. So I'm going to be doing some cleaning, but I am home and I'm going to be telling you guys what I actually bought from Nespresso. Um, I'll just show you guys right now. So this is my little bag, my Nespresso bag. It's kind of heavy. It's not that it's kind of heavy, it is heavy because of the cups that I bought from Nespresso. These are the Virtual Collection Constant, Constant, Constantine, Greeky Design? 
I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, let me tell you guys about this beautiful, these two beautiful cups that I had to get my hands on. Um, I don't know if I recorded this on my YouTube channel or not, but I did buy some... What is it? Some like super, super cheap, beautiful cups from Amazon. I think they were like $18.99 for two of them. Biggest mistake ever. Don't ever do that because, okay, my boobs are showing. So that is the biggest mistake ever that I did because those were too cheap. And like literally the first time you try them, you're just going to be like, they are so sensitive. So with any type of touch drop or anything, they will break. And that's what happened. Literally, we had a party here at my house and family came and I was just like serving coffee and uh, out of nowhere I was just trying to get the cup and it broke it legit broke on my hand and I was like okay this is dangerous so I don't recommend you guys buying that if you guys are gonna buy coffee cups get something that's expensive even though it looks cute when it's cheap but it's not worth it because you might cut yourself and that is something that was going to happen to me literally that is today's PSA <laughs> So this is how the cups look like and it comes with two spoons, you know, just to make coffee and make, make it look so cute and pretty. Now the cup itself is pretty, pretty sturdy and it's like doubled wall and it's super heavy. So I really recommend you guys buying actually something that's expensive, something that you guys are not going to hurt yourself. It's not going to break in your hand when you guys are washing it, if that makes any sense. So I pretty much bought only five sleeves of Nespresso coffee because literally I'm the only one who drinks coffee at my house. Nobody else does but me. My husband was a coffee person or is a coffee person, but I think he's like super lazy in the morning to actually make his coffee. And I'm not like I like legit wake up shower get my cup put my coffee and off to work i'm that type of person if i don't have a coffee in the morning i get super super like angry and uh, i don't know it's just a bad 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 environment if you're around me so anyways i'm i'm only going to be talking about the two pods that i am excited to try I'm super excited because i'm going to be trying this tropical coconut flavor over ice Pods. I'm also excited over this pod right here is the Ice Lajero Glaze. I haven't tried them and I've heard so many good reviews and so many good uh, comments about it on YouTube and Instagram. I had to get my hands on one of these, you know, just to try them out. So I only got one sleeve of each because, yeah, I wanted to see if I really do like them or not. And then the other ones that I got are literally the same things that I always get, which are my double espresso shots or my single espresso shots because those are the best. Now, I got my favorite vegan milk, which is the Shabani Oat. Plain extra creamy. Oh my gosh, when it frosts, it's so freaking good, especially over ice. But like I said, I do have this like tiny, not even tiny, I do have like this really dry, annoying cough that I wasn't able to sleep last night because of it. Because we always leave the AC on full blast every day and night. And yeah, that. That doesn't help me you know it's just it just doesn't help me but my husband loves it like that so yeah it sucks anyways i also got this creamer the caramel macchiato creamer if you mix a little bit of this just like a tablespoon or yeah like two tablespoons or one tablespoon and a little bit of cinnamon on your coffee oh my god it just hits different it, it tastes totally different it tastes so good i don't know if it's only me but i should make a little recipe of how i've been doing my coffee lately so yeah so this is a beautiful cup you guys just look how pretty it looks so the taste test of the coconut pod i can truly say i like it 10 out of 10. Mm. i didn't pour any ice like I said, because I have this really bad, dry, annoying cough, and my husband's like a note of it. No, it's more of being worried. But I'll be okay. Kind of, I'll, be okay. I'll be okay. So, good morning, guys. I woke up an hour ago. I'm wide awake because I've been cleaning my room. I mean, deep cleaning, dusting it. It's so freaking dirty. I work a lot. Like, literally, I work a lot. And when it's my day off, I really want to do anything and cleaning is one of them. So especially like brooming and like dusting stuff off. But today was the day that I had to do it because yeah, my allergies are getting super, super bad and 
I need to control them. I need to clean all that dust that is all over my floor. So today is going to be a long day. I honestly don't know what I'm going to start doing first, but it's going to be a long day because I have to do a lot of things. I know for a fact that I have to go to my sweater desk uh, to visit her. And then after that, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's barely 10 in the morning. I woke up like around... 8 30 ish yeah and then ever since that just brushed my teeth and yeah i just started to clean so yeah after i'm done doing this i'm gonna go shower right now because i have to get ready and then start my freaking beautiful day because it's sunny and i'm here cleaning inside my room so before i shower i want to show you the hair products that i've been using a lot lately to give some volume to my hair because my hair is so freaking flat and it's so thin and it's just like there's no body there's nothing to it but just like flat <laughs> so um to give it a little bit of volume i've, I've been using this heritage by mindy mcknight volume conditioner which provides hydration while adding volume and i am so super obsessed with this because it truly freaking works like honestly you just like add it to the root of your hair and leave it there for five minutes while you like bathe and do something else whatever you guys like and after you're done showering the product does its magic and when you blow dry your hair you just like automatically gives it volume from like the root up which i am so super obsessed with and another hair conditioning that i have also been using just to give it a I don't know, it, this right here smells amazing. I'm not gonna lie, this right here smells amazing. But I love smelling my hair with the Airbell Essence Aircon Oil Repair. I love the smell of this right here. It smells so freaking good. My husband, every time, is always smelling it. He's like, wow, you did that. Like, you put that hair conditioner on. And I'm like, yes, I did. But anyways, I apply that on the bottom section of my hair. And then the other conditioner, I apply it on the top just to give it a little volume. So, yeah, that's the tip of the day, guys. So I just got out of the shower and my hair smells amazing. It smells so freaking good. I love it. <laughs> but anyways, let to moisturize my face and apply a little bit of makeup because my face is so uneven. So I'm done getting ready and I apply some falsies. I currently am wearing some Esther lashes. As you guys can see, the makeup that I apply on my face, it's super freaking light lighter than my skin tone at the moment because i have like this beautiful amazing tan going on and i've been going to the water park a lot especially fourth of july weekend i got more tan than i was supposed to because yeah i like legit burn myself if i move my jean jacket you can see it there but yeah so i'm headed out right now i'm gonna go get my toes done and get a petty because I haven't had time to do one and today's the day that I'm gonna go do that. I am kind of hesitating where to go if um, to go to a new spot or go to the usual spot that I usually go to. But the thing is, it's like super far and I'm not trying to drive all the way over there. So yeah, because I'm trying to avoid traffic. So I think I'm gonna head that way. I'm turning off everything and grabbing my purse. So I'm heating up my car right now because my husband says to always heat it up. I don't know why, but I have to do it. And it's been like three minutes and I got two more minutes to go to. But um kind of sleepy, you guys. Um, I think I'm like crashing right now because I haven't had a coffee and I told myself that I wasn't gonna like I, I told myself that I wasn't gonna drink any more coffee because I drink coffee every single day and it's bad It's bad for me. I know I don't know what it is, but I've been getting this like massive massive headache here on a, uh, like massive headache on my left side and it hurts so much and Yeah, I just don't know what it is. So I told myself, you know more caffeine, but like I'm I feel like I'm falling asleep right now while I speak and I don't have any sort of like energy to do anything and yeah it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard I think I'm just gonna give in and uh, get a coffee somewhere cuz I'm falling asleep I'm literally at the corner of my house and I'm trying to find a Pete's cuz I'm gonna get myself a matcha and uh, here let me find Pete's nearby Wow, there's not a Pete's nearby my house. It is, it's a 22 minute drive. I need to go to a Starbucks that has like a drive-thru. Starbucks with a drive, drive-thru. We're headed to Starbucks, you guys, cause I'm dying. I'm not gonna get coffee. Like I said, I'm gonna get a matcha, so yeah.
Welcome to Starbucks Health Friend Labors. What can I get started today? Hi, can I get an iced matcha? Iced matcha green tea latte. You want that with soy milk? What size? Uh, medium, please. All right. So, change of plan, you guys. I am no longer going to get my petty done because my mom aka my boss <laughs> called me and told me that something happened at our shop and I have to go cover for her right now so it's no longer my day off I mean it's no longer my day off so I'm kind of bummed out but it is what it is you know like a family owned business is hard it's beautiful it's like a love and hate type of thing because honestly you sacrifice so many things for it and time and your day off is one of them so yeah well, i will begin to blog again on my next day off because i'm going to work right now bye so hi guys it's um what day is it today today's thursday so yesterday I started a blog, but then I had to go back to work and I couldn't get my petty done. So today I kind of got out like three hours or two hours early from my job. So I decided to come do my petty and I'm about to go do that. I'm so excited. I'm kind of like debating if to go like do white toes or um, baby blue or sky blue toes. So yeah, I will decide inside. done doing my toes and i'm headed home because the husband's waiting for me he just got off of work he called me he's all like i'm here where you at <laughs> and uh, i don't know what i'm about to eat i'm hungry but i don't want to go eat outside because or buy something on the way home because i always eat out always 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 and sometimes not sometimes most of the times it's like very annoying because like i honestly can't find anything to eat because i always eat outside like everything like for example today i had a chipotle quesadilla and it was the sobritas quesadillas i think that's what it's called and it was really really yummy but yeah i want to eat something but something that's not fast food something that it's homemade like i make it but i'm too lazy to do it i don't know am i the only one am i the only one Alright, bye guys. I just got home and I'm about to eat some pupusas that my suegra send to us. I have it on the comal right now. I'm like so freaking hungry that I had to bite it, you know, but I have to eat my pupusa hot. I don't like a pupusa that's cold. morning i just woke up i applied some what is it no i just didn't wake up i just showered got ready and yeah this is the top i'm wearing today i'll be showing you guys my ootd and i also want to show you guys my little toes how they look like but the floor's kind of dirty right now so i don't want to show you guys here today is gonna be a long day you guys because we need to go grocery shopping and I think I want to go to the mall because I want to return this one dress I bought from Abercrombie, I think. No, I don't think. I, I know I showed it on my last vlog. Um, it does fit me, but I just want to see what else I have, you know? <sighs> so yeah. Uh, I am about to make um, my matcha drink, my iced matcha that I am obsessed with. <laughs> enough you know just enough and i got my honey right here um my dad placed this here so 
So, I don't know if you guys know, but my dad's a beekeeper. So, I always have organic honey at my house because my dad's the best. I think that's enough and I'm gonna add a, one more because it's needed. And a little bit more of soy milk. Cheers. Such a steal. So we are headed home now. We're done with our Costco shopping. And I bought some cute stuff from there. I bought this like PJ and I also got this top, um, a crop top actually, to, the, to go to the gym or just to work out with. So this is what I'm currently wearing you guys because I haven't showed you guys my OOTD but I'm just wearing this long sleeve breathable shirt. It's from Shoe Dazzle. I'm also wearing some leather pants. So I'm also wearing some leather pants from Express and my sandalias. So my cousins just came from San Jose and I'm back to be a barista for a moment. Should I just sing Taylor Swift so you can get copyrighted? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.